What's good, HHSB crew? It is your boy, the Hype Head Sneaker Beast, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. Oh man, I've been seeing this so much in the sneaker community. I've been seeing it a lot. I've been getting offered a lot. I've been, uh, you know, a lot of different people been hitting me up like, yo man, do you want to cop these from me? Um, I actually have been interested in purchasing this pair and prices have actually been pretty good. Um, but it's just something about it. I just, I actually own a pair already, so I'm not sure if I really want to own the second pair. I know I might've said that I did earlier, maybe in a couple of other videos, but if you guys are selling this sneaker, you might want to hold on to them. If you guys want to find out what this sneaker is, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. Drop a like and leave a comment. Let me know how I am doing. If you guys are ready to jump into this video, let's do it. You are So obviously you guys are here because you wanna know what sneaker I am talking about. And it is actually one of the most hyped sneakers of the year already. And actually, if you know about it, there's 50 of them. The Off-White 50 collection. I've been seeing so many people selling their lot. It's insane. I'm not really sure why we're selling this lot so quickly and not necessarily uh, lot number five here. This is my lot, but um, I'm not sure why we're selling our off-white lots so quickly. And the reason being is that we all know that this was exclusive access only, right? So everyone didn't even have an opportunity to purchase this pair. So in essence, it's kind of like you have a pair that really no one else should have. I mean, that's just the way that I see it. I'm supposed to have this pair, right? So I don't think that it's a good idea to sell those pairs specifically because it was exclusive access only. And it was actually Nike's first exclusive access only release. So there's a couple of layers to that where I think that that's gonna increase or at least add to the value of the sneaker later down the line. But if we're talking about panic sales, I know a lot of that had been happening. As soon as we popped those W's, everyone was really interested in seeing how much their pair was worth and how much they could make off of their lot. But me in particular, I did have the initial idea of selling this pair. If you guys remember back to uh, one of my earlier videos, I was saying, hey man, I'm going to SneakerCon to sell this pair. But when I got to SneakerCon, I saw a lot of these pairs on feet, which is awesome, which means that a lot of people are choosing to keep their pairs or at least hold on to them for a little while longer. But as I walked around SneakerCon, I saw a lot of people selling these pairs and I saw a lot of people actually trying to collect all 50. So with that said, knowing that there's a high demand for this pair, it just makes me want to keep it a little bit more. I'm not really interested in necessarily giving someone exactly what they want right now because that typically means that the valuation at the current moment isn't quite where it needs to be yet. Let's let that valuation get a little bit higher and then let's start thinking about selling. Let's take a quick look at lot number 23. Look at lot 23 right here. You'll see that it started off at about $450. And then of course, like I said, there was a few panic sales and it dropped to about $430. But if you see over the last few days, it jumped from about $430 to about $510. And ten dollars, and we're talking about from August to September, four fifty to five ten. It doesn't seem like it's a really large amount of money, but that just goes to show you that you could have made more if you just held them. So I think this is definitely a pair that must be held. That does mean that I think it's a good time to buy these pairs, though. If you can cop these pairs, I'm seeing people selling pairs for three hundred dollars. $350 in that 400, $300 to $400 price range. If you can cop a pair of off-white dunk, any lot between three and $400, absolutely buy it. Because 
you're just making a good investment at this point that's gonna actually do a little bit better for you later down the line. You may not see that return so soon, but if you're talking long term, I think this sneaker is definitely gonna be one of those sneakers that you need to hold on to to see a big return later on down the line. Take a look at another pair. Let's take a look at the pine green off-white dunks. Something that's just a little bit different. It's still an off-white dunk, but I do wanna just kinda take a look and see if we can make a comparison to a similar sneaker. We take a look at just the year because I know that the sneaker actually came out quite a bit ago. But if we take a look, it started out about a year ago at about $750. And over a year's time, it has had its fluctuations actually really high, then maybe come down just a little bit. And now it's at about $850. So as you can see, it's not just the, uh, the Off-White 50 collection, but the Off-White Dunks in particular seem to do pretty well if you just hold. So again, I think that it's a great time to buy, but I do not think that you should sell this sneaker. I would definitely hold on to it as long as I can. If you don't need the money right away, if it's something that you can just hold on to and kind of just have in your collection, just as a piece, even as a trade piece, I think as a trade piece for you to be able to hold on to this sneaker, the value is just going to go up. So I think that selling right now is actually probably not a good idea. But yeah, man, that's just my opinion. I just wanted to talk to you guys about it because I've been seeing so, I mean, it, just look at it. It's a, it's a really nice sneaker, it's very unique, and it has a crazy story behind it. You have to understand, the more, the more layers there are to owning this sneaker, it's exclusive access only. It's Nike's first exclusive access only. It's a part of a Nike off-white collection. It's a collection in its own. It's only 50 of these that were made. So I definitely believe that this is a sneaker that you need to hold on to for as long as possible. Until next time, it is your boy, the Hype Head Sneaker Beast. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. Drop a like and leave a comment letting me know how I am doing. We are underway with our 500 subscriber up to $500 cash giveaway. If you have not subscribed, you got to subscribe just to be entered into that contest. Remember, you do not have to follow me on Twitter. You do not have to follow me on any other social media. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel right now. As always, it's been a pleasure. Until next time, it is your boy, the Hyper Sneaker Beast. I'm gone.